Hey everyone, in this video we are taking the DR10 drag car and we are going to be looking at 50C reaction dynamite battery versus a 100C Povway battery. Which one really performs better, right? Which one does the thing? Let's put them in the car, let's see what happens, let's see how they perform. So honestly, my three runs here uh, with the 50C battery kind of surprised me because, you know, started out with a 3.2 at 49, which felt a little slow. Acceleration curve looks a little bit funny for some reason. It looks like I spun a little bit in the middle there. The second run, 3.3, so slowed down, and you can see it looks like it spun and then caught back up there at the very end. So again, not very clean run. Finally, a clean run on the third pass. 311 at 50 all right so that's what we're going to be looking for that's our base run can we do something better than that So I think this is one of those times when a 100C battery is not really a 100C. Something, something's up here, right? So battery number one is a Reaction 50C 4000 from Dynamite Shorty that um, I got actually a long time ago. It's been used, it's been proven, been proven as a good battery. Battery number two is the Povway 4100C. So we're talking about same milliamp hour Shorty 2S. One says 50C, one says 100C, and I don't believe it. So you know, on the on the first pass with the Povway 100C battery, yes, I got a faster ET305. I think that when you look at it, it just is all due to that initial acceleration. You know, hit all the way up to 2G, whereas normally 1.91, whereas before I hit 1.38. So maybe there was a little bit extra punch there for some reason right off the line. But then after that, it just dies. It just doesn't have the ability to keep up. And so it only does 46 mile an hour versus 50. So, ew, man, quality of battery really matters. So we need to find ourselves a better 100C. We need to find ourselves a better battery and see what the car will do with that. 